Got one. Came up and grabbed it. <laughs> right there. It followed it in. That's awesome. Got one. Oh no. Yeah, that was a good one. Guys, second trout of the day. I am so happy right now. Well guys, welcome back. And I'm actually here in the North Carolina mountains and I'm actually at a hatchery supported trout stream that I've never fished before, never been here before. And I didn't really find too much information about this stream. So I'm hoping it's not too well known. It hasn't been fished out yet. But if we do get a couple trout, I'm gonna cook them up and I'm gonna try something a little bit different. And it turn, if it turns out like I'm hoping, it should be delicious. But when we go down here to the stream here in just a minute, I'm gonna show you guys the lures and bait I'm gonna be using. Ooh. Wow, guys, I just got nailed. I don't know what that was, but it was big. Well, guys, this spot right here, I actually got a couple bites out of it from that little trout magnet. So what I'm gonna do, I just started, but I'm gonna actually throw a worm out right here, and I'll show you in a second what I'm gonna tip it with. And it's just too good of a spot not to give a try with a worm for a few minutes. All right, I just got a couple split shots down to a really small hook and I'm just gonna do a little worm, not too big. And guys, what I've done is stick a little fake salmon egg on it and I've had a lot of success doing it just like this. Right in there, should be good. I'll throw around my trout magnet while I'm waiting on a bite. I might just give it a second. Oh, I had a bite, guys. Oh, I saw the fish. Wasn't a very big one, but I did have a bite. I'm gonna try a spinner real quick. There's a big one in there, it keeps hitting it. Yeah, I saw it, it followed it. That was a big trail. Got one. Oh no, that was a good one. No, got off right there. Oh, that was a good one. I ended up going way upstream, but the only fish I ended up catching was just a little rainbow. So I knew I had to make a change. Well guys, I went on back down below that dam and there was just nothing. And then I even went further downstream and I just was not liking the look of it. So what I decided to do, there's a place I've fished before and I've actually had good success there. So I fished only once, but I, when I did, I had good success. So what I'm going to do is head over there. It's about an hour and 40 minutes. So I hope it's worth it. And there could be people already fishing it. I don't know, but um to save this trip i'm gonna give that a try and hopefully we can get some trout well guys i'm at the place i'm wanting to fish uh right over there but unfortunately there's tons of people down there so i'm gonna let them have that and head on downstream and hopefully I mean, there's not as many people down there hopefully but i mean there's a lot of cars here so we'll see all right here we go hopefully we can find a spot without a whole bunch of people Where everybody was, I was really wanting to fish because that's a really deep area. And I caught fish there before. Well guys, to get away from the crowds, I've had to come quite a ways downstream, but I'm actually gonna go in right here and then I'll start working my way down. But it looks like a pretty good area. Looks like a little bit deeper over there and I'll just cast to all the deep spots. So hopefully I can get onto something here. When I saw the boulders in the middle of the stream and the deep pool behind it, I knew I had to give it a while there. And I'm really glad I did because it turned out to be the money spot.
got one. Ooh, that's a decent one. Decent one. Decent trout, guys. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Yes. This is my eater right here. Come on, buddy. Yes. Come here, buddy. Awesome. There we go. Guys, here we go. Beautiful rainbow trout. First one of today. And he's perfect eating size, so we'll cook him up here in just a little bit. But I'm going to try to get another one. Um, I Actually, I think it was this one I saw come up and hit at my spinner. So I threw the worm out there, and he hit nailed it. So that is amazing. I was getting discouraged because I wasn't getting nothing. But that's why you got to keep at it. But I'm going to get it on a stringer, and maybe we'll catch another one. Come downstream just a little bit. I'm gonna cast out right here and then I'm gonna cast out my lure a little bit and see what I can get. Got one. It came up and grabbed it. <laughs> right there. It followed it in. That's awesome. Come here, buddy. Oh, another decent one, guys. There we go. That one's bigger than the other one. Look at there. Tell you what, look at this. There we go. Guys, second trout of the day. I'm so happy right now. It's bigger than the other one, even. I'm going to keep him, too. These are the only two I'm going to keep today, if I catch any more. And uh, probably going to save this one for the family and uh, cook up the smaller one. But that is amazing. Just a beautiful rainbow trout. I'm so happy. And to move from a different stream and then to come over, because I wasn't catching anything, and then come over here and actually get on some is amazing. So I'm going to get my stringer, and maybe we'll catch a couple more. Well, guys, I'm starting to get hungry. I no more bites so far. I've actually just stayed right in this little area. Uh, I still got my worm out. But um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean the trout, get everything set up, and then cook the fish up. I'm starting to get hungry. So that's going to be good. I, I'm trying something a little bit new. I hope it turns out. Guys, I'm just getting ready, and something's messing with that pole. So we might have another one if it's not a... Uh, I don't know, a different kind of fish or something. There's like suckers or something in here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I don't think I got it. Huh. Actually, hold up. I do got something. What is that? You know what? That's a trout. How in the world? Guys, I got another trout somehow. There we go. Now he knows he's hooked. How in the world? <laughs> I got another one, guys. I'm just going to keep him in the water, though, because I do not want to... Um, I know I'm not going to take him home, so I don't want to hurt him. Well, wait a minute. His mouth almost looks hurt. Huh. Let me see here. Or maybe that's just the... Uh, uh, worm. Okay, I'm gonna wet my hands. Well, guys, here we go. Third trout of today. And I actually wasn't gonna keep him, but you can actually keep seven trout on the stream, and he swallowed the hook, so I'm just gonna keep him. I, I'm, I'll take him home. My family love trout, so we'll eat him up. And even if I catch another one, I might keep it and just take it home, have a mess of trout for at home. But that is awesome. I'm going to get him on a stringer. It actually interrupted. I was getting ready to do, uh, start cooking and, or get everything ready to start cooking and it took it. So I'm actually going to throw back out there and uh, start cooking again. Maybe we'll get another one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the oil in here. I want a little bit of a slant, unfortunately, but it should still work. Ooh, that's all the oil I got, so I better not uh, <laughs> knock that over. All right, guys, I'm going to start with some salt. And just sprinkle a little bit on the fish right here. Do it on the back side of it, too. All right. 
Then I'm just gonna do a little bit of lemon pepper. Quite a bit on there. I'm going to season it pretty good. And of course, I did that. Then I'm just going to drop the trout in some flour. And I don't want too much on it, but I just want it to get coated about evenly. Because I don't need tons on it, it just needs a little bit. That should be good. Alright, there we go. So now it's just finely coated on there, I don't want too much. I'm going to hold this. There we go. Good. I also brought some mushrooms, so I'm gonna dump those in here. Ooh, that hurt. Well guys, there we go. It's overcooked a little bit. I always do that. I don't know why, but very rarely does my cook go well, but I don't know. I, I still do them for whatever reason. <laughs> I hope you guys get a good laugh out of them. But uh, here, let's try this. Let me pray real quick. All right, let's see here. It should be nice and crunchy. You know what? That's not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I did like burn it a little bit on that side, but it actually tastes good. Either that or I'm hungry, but it definitely could have been worse. I think it was the flour that burnt. I don't think it was actually the fish. I was thinking it was the fish. But that's actually very good. So even though it didn't look the best, it is tasting good. Let me try one of these mushrooms. Looks good. Mmm. That is good. Woo! It's hot. Oh, that is hot, but that is very good. Let me try the other one. See if I got this one done. That's good. Yeah. It looks really burnt on that side, but it's just a flower, so it's not that bad at all. I just wish, wish it looked a little bit better. Well, guys, I'm going to finish this up, and then probably the plan is I'm not getting any more bites right in here, so I'm going to head downstream just a little ways and then set up and uh, try right there probably for the rest of the time I'm down here. But I'm really thankful for the three I got. Well, guys, this is the last spot I'm probably going to fish. I moved down just a little bit, and I'm going to cast out in here. It's pretty deep. But if you like to fish with worms and like from the bank and stuff, put you a little salmon egg on there, fake salmon egg, and it'll really improve your chances of getting stuff. I've gotten everything on the worm and salmon egg. Nothing on the spinner. Well guys, nothing else and I need to be getting back, but I mean, I'm really thankful I was able to catch a three trout today. That one shrimp I went to was just a dud, and I just decided to do a Hail Mary and come way out here. I, I mean, it was literally like two hours away, and it paid off, so that's awesome. But I wish my cook could have went a little bit better. I don't even know why I cook, because I do, I'm horrible at cooking. But I hope you guys really do enjoy getting a laugh out of my cooks. Uh, please let me know down in the comments if you do, or if you want me to quit cooking, let me know that. <laughs> but... As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.